Hey everyone, John here, and I'm having a comparison video uh, between two hard drives that I had uh, in my MacBook Pro. Um, I had on the left, you could see the 320 gig hard drive at 7200 RPMs, and on the right hand side, I have a 500 gig hard drive that is currently running in my MacBook Pro that runs at 5400 RPMs. I wanted to take a comparison to see the two, uh, what the response times would be between the two um, for startups, uh, running apps any type of heat issues that they might have, and overall uh, results. So if you take a look at these two, um, if you look over on the left hand side, uh, they definitely show that the 320 gig hard drive at 7200 RPMs have a better overall score uh, than the 500 gig hard drive at 5400 RPMs. Uh, 135 to 131. Now, realistically, it's not too big of a difference. Uh, not too bad. Uh, it, I just copied the 5400 RPM hard drive, the same uh, desktop and everything over to it. Um, so it has everything that's the same on it. Um, so, But I just wanted to make sure the comparison was equal. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you was the disk test. 57 for the RPM for the uh, 720 uh, excuse me, 7200 RPM compared to 52 for the 5400 RPM. Well, once again, not too big of a deal. Um, taking a look also, um, I ran some other tests that uh, you guys don't see here on the screen, uh, such as a start time test. I went ahead and started up my MacBook Pro from a cold boot. Um, all the way to when it came up asking for my login credentials and with a 7200 RPM uh, hard drive it took one minute and seven seconds and with a 5400 RPM drive it took one minute and 12 seconds so a five second difference right there not too bad at all this next one I found very very interesting and I don't know I tried it a few times and got the same results um, has to do with iMovie since iMovie is what I use to compress all my movies and get everything out to YouTube I decided to try it out on uh, see how long it took to open up the app under the same conditions and everything I ran uh, my 7200 RPM drive uh, I opened iMovie and it took 11.6 seconds for it to open on the 5400 RPM drive it took 6.8 seconds now, I'm not sure why the five second difference. My guess is that maybe because I have uh, a, a more space available, uh, that it could have been something to that effect. I'm unfor sure. Um, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I haven't tried compression rates yet on uh, compressing videos or anything like that, and that will be something in the future I'll be checking out. Um, I did a comparison on the hard drive and the CPU for the heat and to see what the difference between the heat would be. Um, like I said, same conditions. I ran it for an hour and I checked both of them um, once they had been running for an hour. And the uh, hard drive was at 33 degrees Celsius with the 7200 RPM drive, but with the 5400 RPM drive, it was only at 30 degrees. The CPU for the 7200 was at 63 degrees Celsius, while the 5400 CPU ran at 59 degrees. So there's about a four, uh, four degree difference between the two. Um, and that's to be expected, especially running something that's not going to be running as fast as the 7200. The 54 runs a little slower, thus it's going to be less resistance, less heat coming off of it. Uh, for the most part, though, I think that I'm going to stick with the 5400, 500 gig hard drive in there. Um, for me, I don't do too much besides browsing, a little bit of compressing here and there for iMovies and stuff like that. Um, but I, for the most part, I think that it would be the most beneficial for me at the time being to be able to keep that extra, uh, have that extra hard drive space available to me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, Benchmob31. Uh, on YouTube's website, YouTube slash Bench Mom 31. Uh, make sure that you rate this video and leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you again.